Uh, welcome back, you beautiful souls. Of course, we are about to start moving, start shaking, and start grooving. Now, we're talking about a famous actor. His name's Luke Evers, and he's a well-known actor from Wales, a famous for appearing in a number of films, including Fast and the Furious, Beauty and the Beast, Robin Hood, and the upcoming production of Pinocchio. Now, the 42-year-old, yes, he's 42, but yet he works out four to five times a week to stay in shape for all of his roles, and the actor's taken to social media to show us uh, just how impressive these gains and ripped physique have been of late. Now, this morning, we of course have been inspired and we're going to be showing you just how to get a body like the actor Luke Evans. And joining me here to show us how it's done and to show you how easy it can be is Zoe Brown in the I'm building. <laughs> And you got a cheer, you got a cheer squad, yeah. That's I do I have like a it. cheer okay, squad. You nice. guys are gonna encourage us. <laughs> 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 hey. um, I, I have a feeling that this oh. is Tub's preferred position in, and exercise when it comes to gym <laughs> on the couch over there. The true story. <laughs> true story. <laughs> so all day watching, guys. We've got you, a lot of work to you. do. We've got a lot of exercises because Luke Evans does not mess around, and we're starting off with the upper body. So we've got shoulders. We're doing our core, and we're doing a lot of just stabilizer work in general. All right. Okay. So let's get straight into it, and we're gonna head down to the ground, starting off with a core conditioner. This is great for abs, this is great for burning fat and getting shredded just like the man did himself. And for you guys at home, while we show you the exercise, your full set will mean 45 seconds in total. So okay. nice neutral spine. Zoe, let's show them how it's done. Mountain climbers are nice and simple. So Zoe's doing the nice uh, graded one and if you want to get it even faster, you can try to keep your legs in the air and start sprinting. Make sure you've got a neutral spine right throughout. You're engaging your core. That means you will get a little bit of a burn in the core, but also in those hip flexors. Two. How are you feeling over there, Zoe? Burning. Boosting. Yeah, straight into it now. Next exercise, while we're in this position, we're going to go for push-ups now, all right? Okay. So using the triceps, using the shoulders, using the pecs, lowering ourselves all the way down, holding for a second, and then straight back up. Wow, Zoe. Before we spoke about this, guy, Zoe said she was going to do ladies' push-ups, but ain't that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> wow, absolutely oh slaying it, Zoe. Keeping up with all the Ooh. team. Booyah! And this after what I believe was an arm session that you yes, did yesterday as well, right? it was an arm day, so I'm, I'm feeling it. Wow, this girl <laughs> is not playing. All right, so we've done with the upper body, so we did some core we did some shoulders. Now we're going to get on our backs. And as you can feel, there's a lot of intensity. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We move over to that next exercise straight away. So we're doing two exercises which sometimes get confused with each other. It's crunches and sit-ups. Now okay. you might ask, aren't those the same thing? <laughs> but let me show you the difference. So a crunch is literally not bringing our head and our chest all the way up to the ceiling, but literally crunching the abdominals and squeezing, bringing your chin towards your chest and really just squeezing, lifting those shoulders up and then straight back down, opening up, taking a big breath. Get it! And then squeezing once again. Got Beautiful stuff, so. Uh, and then straight back, on, right? Now if that was too easy for you, you want to try a sit-up, this is going to work not only the core, but also the hip flexors as well are going to come into action. I struggle with this because you've got to get your body all the way to the top and the challenge is to try not move your feet at all. Okay. That's really hard. All right. So Zoe, you want to try this with me? Three, two, one, let's go. Ah, oh, I've got go. a little bit of a movement in my feet. You look solid over there. I love it. I think Zoe's nice cool. Is, I think you've got a better cool than me. Oh, wow. I think I should just keep quiet and let Zoe take over from here. <laughs> Clearly she knows what she's doing. Wow, I am absolutely impressed for you guys at home trying this exercise as well. Try your best not to throw yourself forward and instead really engage with the movement. Use your core to lift you up and of course, make sure your feet aren't moving. So if you're seeing the following, <laughs> that's a no rep, that's a fail, all right? You want to really control this one. Ooh, I'm, I'm okay. building up a little bit of sweat. I don't know about you. This right? is a workout. All right, and we still got to get to our shoulders. So let's stand up for the last one. And of course, this is not me. This is Luke Evans, guys. This is how he got that beautiful body that you just saw in those pictures. So he starts with one exercise called the front raise. Good control, nice form. It's going to work those delts, get those beautiful striations. And if you're wearing like a, a strapless something. You those look, Michelle Obama arms. Yeah, you're going to look so good in it. Right, so holding the kettlebell or a dumbbell, wow, a weight bottle. Beautiful in a strapless, boy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Gee, this is for the strapless stuff out there, lifting up, holding for a second and then slowly eccentrically lowering it down. Remember, each of these exercises, guys, 45 seconds on, 15 second break, and you want to go for three rounds in total. I'm burning up such a sweat. I think I'm getting goosebumps. I don't even see this on my arms here. Whew, we are working, Zoe. How are you feeling? Feeling good, but my weight is much lighter than yours. Oh, yeah, you say that. All right. And then last one, an Arnold press. This is such a fan favorite for everybody in the gym. Normally, you'd have two weights to use this, but what we're going to do is use one, just isolating it. So you bring the weight towards your face, 
pull it back outside, and then press your arm up into the air. Keep that control, bringing it straight back into the face region again. Back out, and then booyah, pressing up into the air. Now, we're talking about Luke right now, talking about the man himself and how he's just opened up and slayed when it comes to his fitness jersey. Journey, and we've got a little bit of inspiration for you guys to check out right now. Let's see what you yeah. think. Woo! <sighs> The man go. So as you guys can see, while we're busy training out here, here's some inspiration for you. He isolates, he works so many muscles and he keeps varying it. So you might do a shoulder session today. Now he's working some cables, accessory work on the back over there. Lots of stimulation when it comes to accessory muscles as well. So not just working the shoulders, but doing shrugs here to work the traps and all that magazine muscle as well. So of course, you can see look at that, that the back. man. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Enough <laughs> inspiration for you right there. And for you at home, Zanzi, as well. Keep have, moving, keep I have shaking. A big <laughs> backs and shoulders. <laughs> inspiration, there you have it. Luke Evans in the building. Go watch his new show coming through. It's The Man in Pinocchio. And I'm sure many, many Medical. more films to come. But for you at home, three rounds, 45 seconds on, 15 second break. And you'll be Luke Evans shredded. Enjoy. <laughs> Let's Should go. We do one more. It's my feel good breakfast show. Uh, welcome back, you beautiful stalls. You're still locked in right here, live in Expresso, and we are opening up on S3. And we're back with our fitness segment on how to get a body like Welsh actor Chris, oh, sorry, not Chris, Luke Evans. And whether Luke is playing the hero or villain in a Hollywood action blockbuster, he makes sure to look the part and lives up to his character's reputation in the gym. And on Tuesdays, the actor focuses on his legs and, you know, a few of the exercises on his leg workout. Dan Tishas, of course, once again, outside. done. So we're in the building. I love how you say, I'm showing you how it's done. I'm I'm just you just you workout. just handed it to me on that uh, exercise <laughs> earlier. Wow, I was very impressed. So again, this man is a proper machine when it comes to working out in the gym. And again, leg day for him is quite an intense workout session. It's not just about building muscle, but his intensity makes it an effective workout that burns calories mm -hmm. too. So ladies, gents, whoever you are, you're going to definitely love this workout, of course. Is adding that intensity going to get the shredding? That is exactly yeah. what it does. That's where the yeah. shred comes from. So I've got kettlebells. Again, you guys can use dumbbells or weights or anything else that you do have at home. And what I'm going to do is also suggest that if you don't have a set or a pair of weights, don't stress. One of them is more than enough. Just like Zoe and I are going to show you now, this one weight we're going to have on one side, so a unilateral side, and that's also going to enforce and ensure stability and control in these movements too, all right? So okay. we're starting off with something simple. It's called lunging. Lunging with the weight above us, have your hand next to you in the air just to support and balance you, and we're going to go for 30 seconds of lunging, all right? So a nice big step forward. Okay, making same sure leg, use, same yeah, arm. Same leg, same arm. Use the glute now as well to push you back, not just the quad and you're going to repeat on that same leg all the time now at the same time if you want to after your 30 seconds of done with this leg you're going to move over to the other side and all you simply do is take the weight move it over to the other hand 30 seconds mark and then move over to the left hand side now as simple as that and now of course you are definitely going to feel the burn on this one too the glutes are going to work the quads are going to work and if you sing behind me right now. It looks like this man is very creative when he does his workouts. Ooh, We're using a kettlebell. Chains. He's using a pair of chains. So showing you that there's absolutely no excuse when it comes to your workout. You can use a bag that's got books in it. It doesn't matter. I, I, that's the one thing I've learned during this pandemic about doing my little home workouts is replacing the weights I don't have. Yeah. So use water bottles if you don't have dumbbells. Use your step outside or go in the garden if you don't have a little stepper. Like use a pillow if you don't have a slam ball. There's so many different things you can use in your home. So true, and there's so many different ways to get that ultimate look. I mean, you see the man in a speedo, he looks like an absolute legend. Oh. And I and my speedo are trying to replicate him so often, so we're getting there, we're getting close. We the man's the obviously yacht. set the bar there, clearly. <laughs> so we're gonna carry on trying to replicate that form. We're going into squats, it's weighted squats again. We're doing a front hold with a kettlebell, making sure your scapula is nice and set. And then again, pushing those glutes back, getting your elbows closer to your knees, and then driving straight back up in the air. That's good form, though. I love the fact that you've got a nice neutral spine which is always important. You don't want to be hunching over in this movement. And of course, the control is so important right now. Now, we aren't moving fast. And the reason is because we're doing some strength work first. And then we're going to turn the intensity up quite a bit very soon. All right. But before we get to that, let's do one more exercise. So again, holding the weight on either end of your body. We're going to do, do something fun. You can get a partner with this. Get some music on. And it kind of looks like a dance too. So we're okay. doing step ups. Simple as this, you're gonna step onto a step up. You can use a couch, a chair, whatever it may be. From here, you wanna power through. Raise that hip flexor, raise that leg to 90 degrees, and then coming straight back down. And then Zoe repeats the same movement over here. 
And now we're dancing. Go. Now we're having fun. It is a dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool to incentivize each other because you always got to do a rep when your partner's recovering. So you're always going to keep that tempo. And you can kind of just make a good connection at the same time and keep incentivizing each other to finish your reps all the way through. <laughs> there we Are go. Are you feeling so nice I'm loving these. I love leg workouts. For some reason, I'm very weak in my arms. So when I'm being pushed in that regard, it's, like it's easy for me to fall on the floor. Nice. <laughs> Balance is key. So now we're going to step it up because this is what Luke Evans does. The okay. man gets into the zone of shred towards the end of his workout. So just like we did those earlier exercises, we're going to step it up, throw the weight away, but we're going to make it more ballistic. So we were doing a lunge before. Now we're doing jump lunges. Okay. Oh, they are the devil, if you ask me. So starting at the bottom of the ground, your goal is to be able to jump up in the air, switch legs, and land in the opposite lunge. You look like you're ready. You just want to go. So let, let's hit it. Three, two, one. Let's show the people what's up. Yeah, Zoe is in form. I feel like this is something you do on the daily. Your consistency from your training is clearly showing how to get the shreds, of course. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with Zoe, so I'm going to pretend like we need to move to the next exercise. And that is <laughs> jump squats. All right, so Zoe, while you're just full of energy over there, we're going to move over to our last exercise. Again, all of these guys, 30 seconds on with a 15-second break, except for when you are alternating each side. 30 seconds left, 30 seconds right hand side, and then you have your 15 second break. Whew. Are you ready? Just like, I don't think Take so actually, I need a breath. Last exercise of the day, this is a big challenge, it's called jump squat. So starting in a nice, uh, wide, strong position, you're almost in that squat, and on three, two, one, jump in the air, boom! And then suppress yourself, make sure you're cushioning that landing, make sure you're using your calves and the rest of your joints to not just crush on them, but really support yourself when you're lowering in that jump. And maybe you'll be as energetic as Zoe, because I can't keep up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So well, you win. Well, if you have you a, 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 what is it, a Luke Evans workout routine at home that you would love to try and maybe teach us, why don't you head on over to social media and don't forget that hashtag Espresso Show. Let's do more jumping. Fine, let's go. Jumping squats. Ooh, I can't keep up with you, girl.